Hello guys, this is Adam. I hope that you are doing good. Welcome to the Adam Lab. This is Unreal Engine and this is the BMW test. I believe it's the very famous one and here I do have the timer as well um, and excuse the fingerprints on my iPad. What I will be doing is simply the test. So we will start with cycles and that's on the 16 inch, 16 inch <laughs> MacBook Pro. No, it's not this. That's on the M1 MacBook Air with 16 gigabyte of RAM and I am so used to you to use 16 gigabyte um, six, uh, the MacBook Pro 16 inch because that's always what I have and that's always what I assumed I will be needing but all of a sudden I am doing everything on a MacBook Air what, what a time so render image and we are waiting for it to render and we are starting here as well so let's see so it's saying the remaining right now is five minutes and again we are using cycles and we are doing the test on the GPU not the CPU I will be doing the test on the CPU after that and again Again, that's with 16 gigabyte of RAM and that's on the M1 MacBook Air with 8 cores since if you go to the 16 gigabyte of RAM you will be getting 8 cores instead of 7. So we are 5 minutes in and 42 seconds and I did change it to that because I assumed that you want to see that instead of seeing my face and I didn't want to record the screen because recording the screen would be causing you know some performance hits and I believe we have seen that already with the Unreal Engine test. So with that I just want to highlight a couple of things. The Blender version that I am using is 2.91 or 2.91. And that's the most recent version of Blender that is available to be downloaded. And the render engine is Cycles. And I do have a picture showing you the frame and the time and the remaining and the meme and the peak and the scene as well. Keep in mind, I am connecting my MacBook Air to an external monitor. And this external monitor is the LG Ultrafine 4K version. And zooming in was no issues. And we do have five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. And we are about to be done. And we are eight minutes and 14 seconds. But the timing that it's showing me here to be done is eight minutes and 18 seconds. So it's in the margin of me just to click in that button to see if it's done. And as you can see right now on the screen, we have the project rendered. And with these results, you can compare them to whatever machine you have and then consider these results to be good or bad compared to what you usually use. Now we will do the test again, but this time it's with the CPU instead of the GPU. And the machine is just a little bit warm. So it's not like burning warm, but it's a little bit warm to the touch. I can definitely turn on my fan, which you can hear right now. And usually I have this fan under the laptop in order to cool it down while I am doing some work. And I definitely recommend getting that for the MacBook Air if you are planning to get one. Usually when I am doing some heavy work, I do have that and I just use it to do whatever I need to do. I will turn off the fan after the machine cools down a little bit because I don't want to run this test while the machine is a little bit warm. Since usually when you are running a project and you are done and then you want to do another project, usually at that time your machine has cooled down a little bit, then we started the other project. And the settings, as you can see right now, we do have the render engine as cycles, the future set supported, and then the device is CPU. And with the CPU right out of the bat, it's telling us that it will take four minutes, which means on the CPU, it's actually faster or a little bit faster than the GPU. Now you might be asking, why is that? I think from my experience, the reason being because the CPU, when it's working, it's not using any of the allocated RAM that is inside the chip. 
because when you are using the GPU, the GPU is bound to the amount of RAM that you have, which means the more RAM that you have, the better that GPU would be since it's integrated with the RAM. So basically, it's using a shared memory between the two. Yet, when you are using the CPU, the RAM would be just helping the CPU in order to run everything, and it's not like the CPU is sharing memory with the RAM like how the GPU does and therefore the CPU will be performing better than the GPU. Okay so we are done and the amount that it took is 7 minutes and 3 seconds so that's more than 1 minute difference between the GPU and the CPU. At the beginning the difference was around 3 minutes but the more that it goes on the slower that it gets and I believe because there is no fan with the MacBook Air it would definitely throttle and slow a little bit to keep the performance. Yet when I touch it right now, a little bit more warm than it used to be, but it's not like burning warm. It's it's not something that you would be like, ah, itch, you know, it would hurt you. No, it's it would actually be good. So with that, the performance, I would say 30, 20 to 30 percent faster. But again, if you do have a pad, if you have a pad just like the one that I have right here which you can turn on and then it would cool down your Mac then in that instance what would happen is you will definitely be getting better performance and in the near future I will be doing more testing where the Mac is on the fan and then we will do the same test and we would see the results. So what did we learn from this lab? We learned that RAM is very important so you do need 16 gigabyte of RAM and we did learn that the CPU is faster than the GPU because of the fact it's not using a shared memory between the GPU and then the RAM since they are using the same memory, the same shared memory, since the CPU does not, therefore the CPU is faster. But the CPU does clock a little bit faster and it will make your device more warm. And to mitigate that and keep it to minimum, what you can get is something like what I have running right here and you will have a link for it in the description and simply what you will do with that is cool down your MacBook Air. As for the results, would this make it faster? I am not sure, we will definitely find out in the next video or in the next lab that we will have. But in general, I can tell you that the M1 Max definitely worth it for a blender. Thank you gentlemen for joining me in this lab, and I will definitely see you in the next one. Until then, this was Adam, and please take care.